Hello everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. Have you ever wanted to create a shaker element, a split monogram, or a picture frame with your Cricut machine? These are really simple projects to make if you know how to cut a shape from another shape or text. For today's five minute Cricut class, I'm going to show you two ways that you can create these types of elements for your projects. There are many reasons you would want to cut a shape from a, another shape, image, or text, but the most common projects are shaker elements, frames, or split monograms. In Design Space, there are two tools that you can use to accomplish this task. One is the Slice tool, which you may already be familiar with, and the other is Attach. The slice tool is located in the lower right corner of the canvas at the base of the layers panel. This tool is designed to split two overlapping images or text into different parts. So I'm going to show you how you would slice a simple shape to create a shaker card or frame. I'm going to insert two circle shapes. And then I'm going to overlap the shapes where I want the new cut path to take place. You can use the align tools to help you align these images in the center, the top, the right, or the left. Once you have the images in place, you simply select both of the images, go down to the lower right corner, and choose Slice. Once the images have been sliced, you will have three separate images that you can use. You can also use the Slice tool with images and text. On the coffee cup image, I was able to use the Slice tool to cut a heart design from the cup image. I have also used the Slice tool to create what is called knockout text or split monograms. This coffee sign is one of my favorite projects to make using the Slice tool with text. When you are using the Slice tool, you need to remember that you can only slice two images at a time. So here I have a square with some star shapes that I wish to slice out to create a stencil. Now because the slice tool only allows me to slice two images at a time, I need to do this in stages. So I would select the background piece, one of the star shapes, and choose slice. I would have to repeat this process with each one of those star shapes until I had sliced out each of the images. So if you have multiple images that you need to slice, you may want to consider using Attach. The Cricut Attach tool has two functions, and both of these I've talked about in previous five-minute classes. For this application, we're going to take a look at how Attach holds your cuts in place. So again, I have that square shape with all of the stars in place. If I select all of these images at once and choose Attach, the stars are going to be held in place and the cuts are going to be in the same position relative to each other on the cutting mat just like they are placed on the canvas. So if I click make it, you're going to be able to see that all of those stars are going to cut out of the square exactly where I placed them. So unlike slice, you can attach more than two images at a time. So I'm sure you're wondering, which one do I choose? Slice is a great tool for projects like split monograms and knockout text. Here you can see when I slice the images, I'm able to remove parts of the image and see how my sliced design is going to look. This tool only allows you to slice two images at a time, so you have to be patient if you need to cut multiple images. You also can't unslice. Once I have saved the project, I cannot make any changes to my sliced image. Unlike slice, attach can be detached. So this star-shaped design that we created, if I need to make any changes to it, I simply click on the detach tool in the lower right. 
I can move the stars to a new location and then I can reattach the images to create my new cuts. With attach, you can also attach multiple images at once. So there are instances where attach might be a better option than slice. But depending on the project you are creating, you may want to use either one of these features or both of them in conjunction with each other. If you have any questions about today's video or either of these tools, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Now many of you are aware that I have a Cricut Basics class starting in April. If you have received my newsletter, you were able to get some information about how you can be a part of that class for free. I have put a link to my newsletter down in the description below if you wish to sign up and learn more about my Cricut Basics series. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.